The Attleboro Public Schools, the Arc of Bristol County, and Attleboro Enterprises, Inc. recently held their third annual Transition Expo. The annual expo connects families with children who have developmental disabilities with the many different organizations in the community. Dr. Linda McSweeney spoke with us more about the event. My name is Dr. Linda McSweeney. I'm here for the Transition Expo of 2015, which is the third year of its existence, and I am excited and honored to be here to see the opportunity for families and community partnerships that are occurring as we speak. My main goal here is to have the opportunity to speak with families who are in the midst of transitional services for their children and young adults and to make sure that we are providing information that would be important for them and their loved ones. When we are working with our children, and particularly those children that have uh, disabilities, it's important to see this as a continuum of services. As children are moving through the public school system, they are also looking to to transition into other um, opportunities for themselves. And these agencies, such as Department of Youth Services and also Mass Rehab and Department of Mental Health and other agencies are important that we partnership with the schools and also with the families. There is a support team. The schools are there to support the children and also to work with these agencies and that happens early in the children's timeline. It's something that we're trying to help families prepare for. It's something that we want to provide more valuable information. We want to make this smooth. And what we know is an important objective is planning and to plan early and stages. And they have wonderful support and liaison people within these community resources as well as within the schools. You work within the confines of that team process because they can help guide you and they can help direct you to the appropriate departments and individuals and it doesn't need to be a scary or anxious process it just needs to be planned out thoughtfully truly this is open to anyone in massachusetts the transition is the same for any massachusetts resident so while we did work with attleboro high school and are focused in the bristol county area anyone in massachusetts is welcome to attend uh, and certainly the information that's here is applicable to anyone in the state this was really a, a new idea that we had. We felt that transition was a very stressful and difficult time for families and for students. And we thought that by bringing together all of the agencies involved in transition, we might kind of alleviate some of that tension and stress and help folks to uh, feel proactive in their planning process. People love this. Uh, one of the great things is we have a wonderful resource guide. It has contact information so that people can leave here with uh, the resources that they need and contacts that they need so that they can follow up and continue their planning after this event is over with. Our goal is to uh, give people the tools that they need so that they're prepared for the transition and so that the transition is smooth and seamless and, and not as stressful as it could otherwise be. Transition has become a real buzzword in, the, in, in our field and there are starting to sprout up around the state and around the country transition expos and conferences and things of that nature because I think we all recognize that we have not done the best job that we could do in bringing agencies together and talking about this collectively. We're really excited about the Transition Expo. It's an opportunity for families to get a feel about what adult life would be like, life after high school for their ch children or at that point their adult child. Um, it came about with the Attleboro High School PAC, Parent Advisory Council, really wanting some more information about adult services. And um, three or four years ago, Attleboro High School, Attleboro Enterprises, and the ARC got together to create an opportunity for people to know what life was after high school. And we're most excited about it because every year people tell us they're more and more understanding about what's out there and what what's available for services. We've had more and more people sign up each year. We have had some repeat attenders, which we really hope for because we recognize that um, in one day is not enough to get all the information. Well, I think everybody has to go through with the transition. What we hear for feedback is that this has made that transition smoother, and that's our goal. Um, and the Family Support Center, we help people through that transition. Um, a lot of the people we work with are eligible for DDS as adults, Department of Developmental Services, and we hear that this has given them a better understanding of what life will look like. 
the biggest success is that people kind of do that big and they feel very relaxed and stress is reduced and that's really our purpose. There are a lot of parents out there that worry about transition. Um, you may have a, a, a son, a daughter, a loved one that has a developmental disability or some sort of challenge uh, and this is the place to be. Um, we have all sorts of vendors here today that can kind of point you in the right direction because it can be hard navigating the system um, and that's what we're doing here uh, today trying to make it easier for uh, parents to to know what to expect when that turning 22 happens. Yeah, I would say that the parents are the most nervous um, and it's mostly because they're going to be making some decisions um, and it seems like they have to make these decisions so quickly. You know, all of a sudden the services are going to kick in at 22 uh, and there's decisions to be made where, you know, what's my son or, gonna, uh, son or daughter going to do um, after they leave school. Beth Bogus of the Ark, Shelley Druchis of Attleboro Enterprises, I mean, they, this was their brainchild three years ago and it's, it's morphed into this, this wonderful, wonderful event. I'm the father of two profoundly autistic children. They, and when I say profoundly, their uh, receptive and expressive communication is very, very limited. And one of the things that any parent that has, and those are my only children, and one of the things that any parent worries about is what happens after. I, I won't live forever. And it's very, very comforting to know that there are programs out there that will give me some peace of mind and I hate to say it this way, but to be able to die in peace, something that some people have taken for granted because they've got children that are able to do many things and uh, they watch the children grow up and they say, wow, my kids are okay and I, I, I'm okay. I'm ready to, to die in peace. Having something like this gives a person like me and anybody like me a lot of hope. So it's a wonderful thing.